Hey guys, what is going on? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I have a iDevice tutorial. I'm going to be showing you all real quick how to stream videos from your PC to any iDevice as long as it is on your network. So first off, before we actually begin this tutorial, please make sure that the video you are wanting to stream is on a computer that is on your home network and that your iPhone or iDevice is also on that network. For example, my computer right here that I'm using is connected to my router via Ethernet port so it is wired in there but I'm on the wireless network on my phone so if you have your phone on for example 3G or 4G you're not going to be able to see that computer so uh, let's go ahead and get started on this alright so what you want to do is you want to get your iDevice and you want to look up this program called Air Video now I recommend using the free version it is limited for example you could only see like three videos in your folder at a time and three folders at a time however use the free version because if this doesn't work out for you then you can delete the app and you don't waste any money if you do like it I do recommend paying three dollars for the full version of the app I personally did buy the full app just because it is a great application and I would recommend it however if it doesn't work out for you as I said go ahead use the free version and uh, then just delete it so anyways as you can see right here I do have my applications I just have two on the second screen but I do have air video right here so what we're going to need to do is once it is installed you need to go over to your computer and you need to download the application itself onto your computer alright so once you have everything installed on your phone what you need to do is you need to go to inmethod.com or just look up air video on Google and go the first link as you can see you've already downloaded the application now you need to download the actual server either to your Mac or your Windows based PC if you have a Linux PC then you cannot do that now unless you're emulating through wine or something other like that anyway since I'm using Windows you go ahead and click that save the exe file install the program and then you should be good to go once it's all done you just go ahead and launch air video which i'll show you right here now once you have air video started in the corner it's going to say air video server air video server started what you can do is you can just go into the corner here open it up and as you can see I have my TV shows already queued up on here it will say server running and what you need to do is you can add an iTunes playlist or add a disk folder do anything like that you can also play around with all these other things uh, what I'm going to do is I'll have start at login just so I don't have to run it every single time but what you need to do is you need to go to your shared folders and now pick whatever you want to stream on here so just for this example because I can't show you anything copyrighted like movies or music videos or TV TV shows I'm just going to show my own videos that I make streaming on here so what we're going to do is we can just come over here select this and it is already queued up now once that's queued up you can just hit close window leave your computer and go ahead check your iDevice all right now that we're back on our iDevice we can go ahead open up air video and right here on servers you're going to see whatever server you have so that is my server right there the only one available and we can go ahead and go to my videos and let's go ahead and pick a video to watch now um let me see I'll pick now let's go ahead and pick this one there and uh, then you can pick any video uh, you can convert it on the spot or play with live conversion normally I play with live conversion however you do have to realize that you probably need at least a decent PC to do that without any lag and a good connection will help as well but anyways we can just go ahead and do that and it will start preparing the video for us turn it sideways sometimes it takes a little hey, bit to do and as you can see it's working now so we could even uh, go, I don't know, into the middle of the video. It all plays fine. Everything works on there just like a video that you would watch anywhere else, just with a few seconds lag at the beginning. But that's about it. Anyways, this program is great. It plays pretty much any app, um, any extension you could think of MKV FOV right here and any other common extension um, that's really about it with this application this is what I've been using recently I've been happy with it there are many many other ways you can do it uh, I saw there is a uh, FLC no VLC streamer I completely forgot what that was called um, and I don't know how good that is I haven't tried it. I'm sure it's good but this is the method I use anyways you can go ahead and toy around with it if you want to but that is it anyways this is Mr. Mario signing off Thanks for watching, everyone.